The bottom navigation bar is a fundamental part of almost every Android application out there. So, in today's video, we are going to learn how we can implement it in our own app as well. Hi everyone, I am Matt from Davis United and I'm gonna walk you through the process of implementation of this navigation bar. So, let's get started by opening up the Android Studio and creating a new project with an empty activity. Now, name it however you want and then click on the finish. Now, while we wait to our, to our project sets up, we can go to the Material Design Library and we can just copy the lines we need to import the dependency that we're gonna need to use this, this library. So let's open it and let's copy these lines. So we are gonna need to copy this and put it in our build gradle file. So let's open the gradle and build gradle module and let's just paste this here. Now click on sync now and wait for the project to sync. The next thing we have to do is checking the official implementation guide. So let's get back to it and let's see what steps we need to follow to implement it. So, we are going to need to create a menu folder with the button navigation menu that XML file inside. So let's get over it. Copy the name of the file and open the Android Studio. Now click on the rest folder and right click on it. Now click new and click Android resource directory. Now from the drop down menu we have to select the menu and click on the OK. Now we have to create a new file and new menu resource file. Paste the name of the file and click on the OK. Now let's just copy what needs to be inside from the implementation guide. And let's paste it here. So click on the split and paste the content of the code snippet here. Now we need to have some icons for it to work and then we need to specify a title. So I'm gonna have two tabs in my menu and it's going to be home and profile tab. Now if you, wa if you want to import an icon from the Google library, just click on the new and click on the vector assets. Now we can import some nice icons there. So let it, wait for it to load and then we can search for a home icon. And I want this home icon to be my icon in the menu, so I'm gonna select it and implement it there. And then I want one more icon and it's going to be my profile. So I'm going to search for user, profile, okay, so maybe customer, no. Let's try to search for person, okay, so here we go. I'm going to use this icon for my, for my person tab. So now I have two icons imported and I can just write home to the first one and the second one is going to be person. Perfect. Let's see what's next there. So we have to create a layout file and we have to put our menu there. So let's get back to Android Studio and we should already have one activity with the layout file created. So let's just copy this menu here. And we can remove this linear layout because we already are using the constraint layout. So I'm going to change this constraint layout to the relative layout because I want it to be wrapped inside a linear layout. So, we can create one more linear layout inside. And we have to put a gravity there. And I want my gravity to be bottom oriented. And I can edit this layout file just a little bit more, so we can make it like this. So 
I can put this on area out to the center and I can align this to the bottom of my relative layout like that now we have to create one more activity so let's just create it straight away I'm gonna name it second activity and let's just copy same code inside the second activity change the, te uh, the name of the text to profile and change the width to wrap content now we can continue with the guides so we have to put navigation bar view inside our code in the class of the main layout sorry in the class of the main activity and the second activity so let's get over with it let's go back to android studio and now we need to create an instance of this bottom navigation view and we can put it here now for this button navigation we just need to create an on item quick listener so let's create it sorry on item selected listener now if the item that is selected is equal to r item sorry r that menu that page no it should be r that id that page two in this case we want to open a profile activity and that is our second activity so let's create a new intent and we want to open a second activity now in the second activity we need to do same things so I'll just copy this code paste it here now create a bottom navigation variable as well and we want to do the opposite so if we are in the second so when we are in the second activity we want to open the main activity now let's try to run our application and let's see if the app is working so now we are in the home tab and when I click on the profile it opens the profile but there seems to be a mistake down there and we also want to change the color of currently selected navigation item to the one where we currently are so let's try to fix this So it should be somewhere here in the documentation and here we can see that we can set the selected item ID in the code. So let's get back to Android Studio and let's write code for that. So it's going to be post navigation that set selected item ID error that ID that page one sorry page two and the same thing goes for the main activity. So here we want to set selected item ID to be to page 1. So let's try to rerun our application and see if it's working. Now click on the profile tab, once the bolt, and we can see that the color is changing now. So thank you for watching, that's it for this video. If you want to check more about the bot navigation, you can just read the documentation. There are some more options like these nice uh, pages that you can put there. If you, for example, have some email application or something you want to alert your user there is something new in the tab, you can use these pages. 
and there are some more things you can try to play with. So, thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment and I will try to answer them all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.